Welcome back to the review of the week, guys. This is JG, the accidental launch sign. This week, it's gonna be long overdue, but perfect timing. Rock the Crimson, episode 17. <laughs> so, keep on watching, subscribe to this channel, and of course, hit like. Natulog nga na sinabi ko kanina, guys. After 17 episodes, it finally gets review of the week honors. So, let's get into the deep dive. Thanks! When it comes to episodes that have um that have, that have fast and excruciating pacings uh on a almost on a almost on a per episode basis, Rock the Crimson is probably one of them. Do I have complaints, guys? Absolutely not. Dahil, well, kung nasusubay pa yan yung anime na to, we're in the middle of a war between uh, the Superior Dragons and the Argentum Core na kabilang si Ragna. It was fast and excruciating and it became more excruciating nung pumasok na si Kamui sa bakbakan. I got no complaints as to the pacing of this episode, guys. Talagang pang, pang action anime talaga. Masasabi ninyo na isang action anime ang napanood nyo sa episode na to. Alright? Flow naman! First gear shift was when Ragna got the assist from the Silverware Princess. Highlight reel. Okay, highlight reel material ang moment na to. Through this gear shift, you now can... Uh, you now can say that Ragna has finally gotten his reality check. Right here. We'll let, that, we'll let that speak for... We'll let this gear shift speak for itself, okay? Second gear shift was when... Well, probably the most no-brainer in the episode. Kamui kills the princess. <laughs> no brainer right there, folks. Because, what? This is how. This is how villains introduce themselves. Right? This is how villains introduce themselves. Bottom line. And I would be a dumbass if I do not deem this as a gear shift. Third and final gear shift was actually the final scene. The princess wakes Ragna up. Ah. <laughs> the reason why I call this a gear shift, it's this. Set up to for the next episode. Alright? Set up ito. Magandang set up ito. And that's what gear shifts do. Pero, will these three be enough for you to totally discern the episode? I'm sorry guys, but it doesn't work that way. If I had to tell it to you a million times, I would do it. Kaya, watch the episode from start to finish. Or you're, you're gonna miss out on the other moments here eh. Ano nyo? Nagbabakbakbakbakbakang umati ka po eh. Ever since, uh, ever since Ragna tried to take, take, tried to take Ultimatia's head off. Bad blood. It's bad blood na talaga. Plot wise. Da eh. I just could not see um, this episode having uh, having worthless side stories or back stories or even or even good ones for that matter. Therefore, Balinis ang blood, guys. Sure, airing an episode wherein the one of the two main protags overextended himself. He was trying to save his comrades from. Uh, from uh, from their own extinction level event at the same time probably the strongest of all the superior dragons challenged him to a fight right there and to think the patang pata na siya he's almost out of energy grabe you need a really clean plot to keep the audience's attention to keep them glued to their seats Yung tipong, yung tipong, buko na lang sila, buko nila ni cellphone nila, magpapag-grab food na lang sila. Huwag lang sila maabala sa panonood ng episode na to. Ako, ganun eh. It's a superbly clean plot, guys. Right? No wasted moments. No unnecessary sequences. Yup. And of course, Kamui, injects himself into the fray and challenges Ragna. Dabe. If that ain't a setup for... 
planning to set up to you for at least the next two episodes. I don't know what is. Only an absolutely clean plot can do that. So base flow and plot. <clears throat> sa tindi ng pacing at ng plot, I, I had a hard time discerning which sequences can be gear shifts. Right? That's the truth. That's how... Uh, that's how delicious this episode is. Pero, if you, if you disagree with my gear shifts, there's the comment section. Lend me your thoughts. So, Ragnar Crimson, episode 17!